season five continues and there's no place I would rather be than be here with you because you are an amazing and supportive audience and I cannot thank you enough. There was a time in my life when all I would do was write. I would visualize these people I'd never seen, places I'd never been experiences that I'd never been through and they were all just a subject of my imagination. But the funny thing is I would feel so content and at peace writing all those things. And I'm sure you're wondering why is she telling us all this? Simple answer. Today we take it to the couch with a writer based right here in the city of Kings and Queens and his name is Njabulo Moyo. Some people say writers are a bit complex to understand. I take Shakespeare for example, he was a weirdo, yet, at, yet he was a genius at the same time. So yeah, we get to find out if Njabulo is the same. Stay with us. Hello, my name is Njabulo Moyo. I'm a young motivational speaker, author, transformer, a life school coach. Join me today as we speak about moments with Njabulo Moyo. Photographers often say a picture says more than a thousand words, but I think writers would disagree with that. Am I right, Njabul? Indeed. I believe that writers are uh, through words, we say a thousand, more than a thousand words, <laughs> probably a million words through yeah. the art of writing. Like uh, Chinua Achebe uh, rightfully notes that uh, writers give ethics. They do not prescribe. So what we, 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 we exist to, to provoke, to prune society, to get society thinking of its own solutions. Mm. You're already on the go. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much, Nisha. How are you feeling? Feeling very much elated. Njawula, off stage you described yourself as a motivational speaker. And I must say that's a title that a lot of people are giving themselves nowadays. Oh, yes. But what is motivational speaking and how does it benefit individuals, groups and companies? Motivational speaking uh, is an art. But uh, beyond it being an art, I believe that it is a calling. It is a calling from God for people to go out there transform lives, speak to the inner man, uh, give them hope, give them faith, give, me, give them love, and give them a reason for existence. Njavula, do you feel that uh, some of the sessions that you've given to people have actually changed or improved their lives? Because there's always the what happens on Monday syndrome, whereby let's say you gave the talk on a Friday, and people get to Monday and it's like nothing happened and everything is back to normal. I, I believe that uh, I've contributed uh, vastly. I mean, there are young people that I've... Uh, given talk to uh, they are they are now published authors um, the young people that are now entrepreneurs they are business people that have actually gone to support uh, initiatives because part of my calling is to to network the those who have achieved and those who are still trying to find their feet so there is uh, there is positive uh, results in the whole process and uh, because motivation appeals to one's feelings you cannot maintain the same feeling over and over, obviously, as you interact with different people. Mm -hmm. Some make you happy and some make you sad. So it is uh, something that has to be done on a daily basis. Actually, there's what we call self-motivation, which mm -hmm. is a level that I believe is very, very key in every process of motivation. Because as speakers, we can come and talk to you, but if you haven't reached a <laughs> level of self-motivation, mm -hmm. so this is where you, as a person, you dig within yourself, you have self-examination. So once you master that, mm -hmm. you won't get to the Monday effect where, you know, you forget <laughs> everything. Everything. You're still watching Up Close and Personal with Nyasha Dibam Tumangira. And I'm here with Njavulu Moyo, who is a motivational speaker and writer. Join us right after the break. Over. <laughs> Welcome back. You're still watching Up Close and Personal, and you're still with Nyasha Divam Tamangira, and I'm here with uh, Njavulu Moyo. How are you finding the show so far? It is a great show, actually. It uh, gives us an opportunity, you know, to share the stories that we, we have in life, which I believe they inspire different people of different magnitudes. So it is uh, a good platform. Oh, actually, I forgot to comment earlier on about your interesting dress sense. Is this something that you did just for today, or you're like this every other day? Well, uh, I believe that dressing and motivation, they complement each other, mm -hmm. because uh, uh, without doing a seminar for people to, to, to transform their mindset, one of the first things is how, to, how do I look? It's, yeah. about, it, it's about confidence building. So there's always going to be a relationship between how you, you present yourself as a character and how people are going to accept you and how they are going to listen do they listen uh -huh. so there is a there is a there is a relationship you know mm -hmm. you 
look good, you feel good, you do good. Ah, and you people call it power dressing, am I right? Indeed. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. When it comes to writing, um, what is it that you've done and uh, what can we look forward to? I think I once attended one of your book launches some time ago. Well, as a writer, um, I've, I've, I have a blog that has been running for quite a number of years now. It's, mm -hmm. it's got over 25,000 followers. And I must say that uh, I have a lot of following in the U.S., in the U.K., and yeah. you know, Zimbabwe is always number three. <laughs> but you also have uh, some uh, countries, you know, Ukraine, you have followers in Ukraine, countries that you don't really imagine. So in terms of, of writing, you know, there's a transition between me as a writer and mm. now I'm an author. So once you get published, yeah, you go public. Okay. Uh, now I'm at the point of, of being an author. And mm. as an author, I've uh, produced two motivational poet anthologies, uh, with the first one being African Sketches. The second one is called Sketches from My Soul. So uh, <laughs> you find that there is a deliberate attempt to connect everything, yeah. the first book and the second book. Mm -hmm. In poetry, I, I try and use poetry as a, as a facet of motivation. Generally, you know you have your praise poetry, you have got your protest poetry, but I do motivational poetry, mm -hmm. which I think as, a, as an artist, uh, I'm kind of uh, introducing a new genre within the industry. Mm -hmm. And our current pro project is a... Um, is a prose, you know, uh, it's a book called uh, Motivating the Inner Soul. Mm -hmm. So I've kind of moved away from poetry. Now I speak to the soul. You know, <laughs> there's a lot that is yeah. engulfed in the uh -huh. soul. Mm -hmm. So did you have an easygoing silver spoon in your mouth kind of childhood or a tough one? Because some people say, in fact, motivational speakers are the ones that always say every person, no matter which part of the world they were born, has an equal chance at life. Is this true? I, my take is that um, we, all, we are all born for the purpose. Yes. It's always about how we, 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 we deal with predicaments. Many a times you focus on the challenge. I like to challenge people out there that from now on you need not to focus much on the challenge. Yes. Focus on the solutions because uh, once you build a, a bank of challenges, you, mm. begin, you become the reserve bank of challenges. <laughs> and no one will go to the reserve bank of challenges to make withdrawals, yeah, but will all true. come to deposit into More the reserve challenges. bank of challenges. <laughs> so this is a simple life concept yeah. and, and how we, we, we attract negative things mm -hmm. in our lives. It's about the attitude. Mm -hmm. So I, I challenge each and everyone out there that uh, like a camera, it can only capture that which it is focused on. Mm -hmm. You will never go out there and focus on an elephant, you try and capture, then it comes out as a, comes out as a rhinoceros. <laughs> so when you focus, yes. you capture that which you want. Wow. So likewise, life uh, is, is not at all equilibrium. Yeah. In some say it's the survival of the fittest. Yes. <laughs> but within your weaknesses, there are strengths. Mm -hmm. Let's look at those strengths, mm -hmm. channel them into you know, I mean, those weaknesses channel them into strengths. Mm -hmm. So I know it might sound all theoretical, but uh, please try it. <laughs> I know in, in wrestling they say, please don't try this at, at home. home. <laughs> but in motivation, this is where we say, please do try this at home. Yeah. Focus mm -hmm. on your strengths mm -hmm. to convert those challenges into opportunities. You're still watching Up Close and Personal on ZPC TV. My name is Nyasha Divam Tumengira. Go to our Facebook page and tell us if you're enjoying the show. See you right after the break. Where, wherever I happen to meet you, you're always wearing something interesting. What's with that? Huh? I'm more into African prints. I mm -hmm. can say I'm celebrating being African. I'm mm. tired of celebrating European style. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, that's an yeah. interesting way of putting it. Yeah. So tell me, how did you uh, meet Njabulo and how long have you known him? Yeah. Okay, well, I can say uh, it's been two years now. We met at a uh, Soul Child shoot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where they were you know, being ambassadors of uh, the South African uh, youths who are based in South Africa. So tell me, um, what is the one character trait that you admire the most about your friend? Uh, what I can say about Jabudo is humble, though I like. Uh, I don't want people uh, <laughs> pompous. <laughs> pompous, exactly. <laughs> because what I can say, uh, we are like a fish. We mm -hmm. can't survive without the water. Mm -hmm. So you must always be humble all the time. So what can you say is the craziest thing that he's, he's ever done? Uh, what I can say was in the uh, Middle East, in Lebanon, where <laughs> he ate uh, raw meat. 
yeah, in the in the in the name of culture, in the name of fitting the culture of the uh, Middle East guys. Uh, yeah. <laughs> So it was funny. To okay, to okay. To uh, so when you're in Rome, you do as the Romans do. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. but Rome eat. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would do that. Yeah, no. The show continues, and I'm now with uh, yet another of Njabulo's friends. How are you? I'm so much well. And you are? Yeah, I'm Jonah Nyoni. Jonah Nyoni, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So Jonah, why you as a friend? Why me as a friend? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And even on this show, <laughs> I mean... Yeah, shows you guys are quite good friends. Why yeah. you? Uh, in Jabulo, we have done a lot of projects together. Mm -hmm. Number one, we have authored a book together mm -hmm. called Success Within Reach. Then secondly, we speak on different platforms together. Mm -hmm. And we have done a lot of projects in terms of speaking and motivating people together. So, you know, we have got a lot that we share in common. I actually read a, a book whereby they were saying, I recently actually learned that Thinking is something that you need to actually put on your to-do list because it's also something that's very important. So I'm actually glad mm -hmm. that you mentioned that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe, maybe to add on that, you know, mm -hmm. one author by the name Bob Proto, mm -hmm. he says... Hey, I like that. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> he says 2% of the people in the world mm -hmm. think, mm -hmm. then the other 3% think they think, and mm -hmm. the 95% they will rather die than think. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think yeah. Jabulo is in the 2% of the people that think. Oh, okay. <laughs> we are back to uh, Jabulo, the man of the moment, and we are about to wrap the show up. <laughs> How have you actually found this show? Um, it's uh, very much interesting. I, I, I enjoy the conversations. I enjoy people also challenge you to, because it's a, in a process uh, <laughs> which is also challenging me to to have some kind of self-actual examination. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If I were to give you a chance to describe yourself in 15 seconds, what would your base take be? I will say I'm an ambitious person, you know, um, social extrovert, always willing to try out new things, to achieve results, and also to to move with others in the 15 process. seconds. <laughs> Time up. <laughs> Okay, um, what else are you passionate about? I know you're passionate about uh, motivation, uh, writing, what, what, but what else are you passionate about? I'm passionate about life skills coaching. Mm -hmm. uh, I do leadership facilitation. So basically, uh, I'm into team building, the outdoors. Mm. This is the outdoors part of me because most of the things... With the I, activities and yes, all the games yes, and uh, stuff, yeah. I can do that. Actually, mm. I've been trained in quite a number of institutions, wow. including the Salvation Army Leadership Training College of Africa. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, so who have you looked up to the most in your life and why? <laughs> well, um, Milton Kamwendo, you know, he outstands to me. Um, I don't have much of incidences in terms of meeting him, but uh, mm. he's always been a distant mentor to me. Wow. From uh, early childhood to have been in touch, you know. He, every time I have a conversation with him, he gives me the energy to keep on going. Mm. Yes. <laughs> That's really nice. Um, it's been an amazing show, and I'm glad to have to have had you on the show. Thank it's you very amazing. much. Uh, stay motivated for greatness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have spent an entire 30 minutes with a motivational man, Njabulo Moyo. Now let me motivate you a little. No matter how hard it is, never give up. Just think about how far you've come and how badly it is that you want whatever it is that you want. To comment about today's show, you can go to our Facebook page and it's up close and personal on ZPC TV or you can go to my Facebook page and it's Nyasha Diva Mtumingiro or you can follow me on Twitter at Nash Diva. Guess what? If you miss out on today's show, you can actually get some snippets of all the action on our YouTube channel. In the words of Jim Beggs, before you put on a frown, make absolutely sure there were no smiles available. My name is Nyasham Tamangiro, and you've been watching Up Close and Personal. Thank you for listening. <laughs>